well and welcome to the Altenham Learning Centre. Up this way you see there's a lot of um, computer rooms just over here and our professional friendly staff here to help you with your every need. This is Lucy. Oh my goodness. And rephrase that, not every need. <laughs> computer room and down that away is the um, art room. Hello and welcome to the Ozenham Learning Centre. Today I have Jamie Lee? Len. Len. Jamie Len here who is the care worker for the Ozenham Learning Centre. Case worker. Case worker, that's even better. Well done. Give me a hand. Now talk about helping hands, could you tell us what the Ozenham Learning Centre is all about? Okay, well part of the Matthew Talbot Homeless Services um, a few years ago we had an activity centre which um, which had computers and we did recreation activities and art projects and uh, it was in a tiny little room next door in the hostel and um, over time and with a, a bit more funding that came in the Osnum Learning Centre was um, was on the drawing boards which and it opened up in 2008. And I've got a quick couple of questions here for you. Um, what is the approach you know to the community work? What is you know we have, we've had contact over the years and we know that the clients need to get back into the workforce or they need to um, to um, catch up on their education skills such as literacy and um, and computer skills and um, and basically so that they can re-enter society so basically we we've um, got a computer lab here and um, we teach basic computer skills we teach um, literacy and um, numeracy for adult learners and um, we also have a range of other um, recovery programs such as smart recovery and we have AA and NA meetings here we have um, sewing for women and we have an art studio we've got a recording studio we've got a lot of talented people out there that have no access to these kinds of resources and we can we basically just try and um, encourage them to to just engage with whatever it is that they can find and um, hopefully from there they can start to um, springboard back into a, a kind of routine that helps them see past the, this current situation. Fantastic, and they're, they're all free these classes, aren't they? All free. Excellent, it's one Monday to Friday? Monday to Friday, um, between nine and four. Nine and four, yeah. Fantastic. Also to the smart recovery, what is that one? Someone asked me that today. Okay, smart recovery is a, um, it's a recovery group for addiction. Now it's not limited to any one addiction, it's just addictive behaviour in general. So uh, it stands for self-management and recovery training and what it is is um, based on some cognitive behavioural therapy tools which is a big word for changing your thinking. Tools that help you look at your thinking around certain behaviours and try and reassess it and, and make new new actions. So um, there's some tools such as looking at the pros and cons of whatever situation is happening for you and and trying to just look at things objectively and then and then renegotiating your behaviour for yourself. So it's really focused on um, group just talking together about their experience with, with addiction and um, and we just sort of focus on positive things that they can do rather than the whole history of addiction and what's mm. not working for them. We try and focus on what is working for them. Excellent. The, um, is it like a drop in, they can, uh, it's not just run over like a six week period? No, it's, it's ongoing. Yep. Yeah. That one's on 9.30 on Thursday. 9.30 Thursday sounds a good course to get involved in because I think we've all got addictive patterns of some nature. Um, what challenges um, do most of the clients you know, the face when they come here, you know, like, are they mostly, you know, besides unemployed, do they have a, you know, alcohol addiction of some sort, are they, all, is there a cross-section of all sorts? There's a cross-section of a whole range of issues such as, uh, obviously homelessness, our risk of homelessness is our primary um, 
demographic, but we also have addiction and um, mental illness, and also just um, people that have been marginalised for whatever other reason. They may be out of long term unemployed, or um, or they they just haven't had a have had a break. As you can see, also too, we're in the gymnasium here, and the gymnasium is opened every day of the week. Uh, it's booked in by our, our um, health and fitness coordinator, so, you yeah. know. It's good it can remain healthy. Do you find that a lot of the, because um, this is for males and for females, mm -hmm. so do you find they really get um, actively involved in, in keeping, you know, healthy mind, fitness, healthy body? Do you find that, um, is there a course that's like they more attracted towards, like maybe computers? Or? Yeah, computers are, access to computers is one, I mean, it's just, you need it today. So that's that's one of our our most popular courses. Um, we also do cooking and mm. a living skills program called the Tenancy Survival Program, mm -hmm. and um, that's that's usually popular. Cooking. We have um, tenancy rights workshops and um, workshops on housing options and budgeting and um, uh, personal awareness and anger management things like that. Really good all round courses. Yeah. Sort of those hopefully um, useful stuff. Totally hopeful. Very, very practical. Um, the success rate. Do you find a lot of people, a lot of the souls that come through, you know, stick with um, the changes in their life, or do you find they come out? You see the familiar faces come back. Um, success is a well. Success is a interesting thing to measure because uh, what I might see successful, someone else might not. So really, it's um. It's client focused, what their goals are, and if that is they just wanted to learn how to do an email, well, that's a success. They've actually learned a new skill. Um, whereas for some people, it might be no, they, they should know how to, you know, um, use every part of the computer. Well, hopefully that that would happen, but one thing at a time, and it's based on the client's goals, not not our own. Mm. And I always know because I've been coming here myself doing the camera class upstairs. The staff here are very helpful, you're all highly trained and, uh, and there's a great feeling when you walk through that door. Do you find that um, that, they get the, you know, that it's growing in numbers, that a lot more people are finding out about um, the centre? It's been pretty steady but we, we do have very busy periods and, um, and not so busy periods depending on the weather and what else is happening I suppose. Mm -hmm. but, um, Generally, it's been pretty consistent and pretty stable in terms of numbers, but um, we're, we're growing in terms of we're introducing more TAFE sponsored courses and um, and and just as as new ideas come, we try them out and um, see where they go. Fantastic, Jamie. Thanks for your time. No problem. And if people want to come down to the Altman Learning Centre, the address is. Level 3, 99 Bulb Street, Woolamaloo. Did you tell the camera that? Woolamaloo. W-O-O-L-O-M-O-O-L-O. Woolamaloo. And the phone number? Just say the number. 9358-8100. 9358 Come on down. Great place to live and to learn. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.